Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFutter.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Google Keyboard. Right before I get to that, just want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags.com is the best place on the internet to get really cool NFC stickers and tags and keychains, all Android themed, for use with your NFC phone. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review. So in case uh, you weren't aware, and if you weren't, then you must not be keeping up with your Android news, but Google released their own keyboard, the Google Keyboard, um, which is uh, kind of uh, implements a lot of uh, Swift Key and uh, Swipe type elements to it, um, but of course with its own Google Flare. So let's hop on my phone and I'll show you how it works. So here we are on my phone and here we are inside the No Frills Google Keyboard. Um, of course you can use it like a regular keyboard And as you can see, it has predicted text. And once you see your prediction, you can just hit it. So that's cool. Um, pretty much very similar to what uh, Swipe and SwiftKey have. Um, or you can also use the swiping method. So you can go. As you can see, it doesn't always get it right. That's probably my fault. Because you have to hit the right letters in order for it to get it right. But it does a good job of predicting. I've been impressed with the ability to predict and autocorrect has been pretty good. So that's uh, that's your basic how you use it. Um, if you long press one of the top keys, then you get the numbers. So that's how you can do your numbers. Um, or you can come over here and press this key to go to numbers and symbols or switch back. Now you can also do symbols. Let's see if you say uh, I love you and you want exclamation point after that you just hold down the period and punctuation options pop up for you. So there you go. Now if you long press on the return key then it minimizes the keyboard and you can uh, long press on the mic and go to settings and you have two options input languages and Google keyboard settings so let's take a quick look at the Google keyboard settings you have your input languages because if you want to use uh, other, langu other languages besides just English US or besides your default language on your device you can Auto capitalization, vibrate on key press, sound on key press, um, pop up on key press, voice input key, um, your personal dictionary, you can go in there, you can add words manually, there's a little add button at the top there, so uh, you can add words to that manually if you want to, or if you type in a new word while you're typing that it doesn't know, it'll give you the option to add that automatically as well. Um, add-on dictionaries, so you can add on other dictionaries um, for other languages or other uh, forms, so like the UK English Dictionary. You could, I could download that if I wanted to. Um, you can block offensive words, uh, auto-correction, so this is to set it so the space bar and punctuation automatically correct mistyped words, and show correction suggestions. You can have it always show Show in portrait mode or always high. Uh, enable gesture typing, that's the slide typing, like swift key and swipe. Uh, dynamic floating preview, as you can see as I was swiping, there was a floating word that previewed there. I'll show you that again in a minute. And you can show the trail or not of your gesture. Um, next word suggestions, uh, which is great. That's very much like what, uh, again, swift key is, re re is really good at that. Um, but swipe is also pretty good about it. Uh, predicting the words you're going to use next based on the word you just entered so you might not even have to type it at all and then there are advanced settings so if you go into advanced settings 
uh, suggest contact names. It can read all the names from your contacts in your phone and use those as possible suggestions. Uh, double space period, so you can tap on the space bar twice uh, and that will insert a period automatically followed by a space so it knows you're ready to go to the next uh, sentence. Uh, language switch key, so you can enable this to show when uh, multiple input languages are enabled. Of course I don't have multiple input languages enabled so it's not an issue for me. If you do have that then you can also use it to switch to other input methods. Show slide indicator, so that displays a visual, visual cue while sliding from shift or symbol keys. Uh, custom input styles, there are a few you can choose from if you would like. Right now there are two. German QWERTY and French QWERTY. Or you can add another style apparently. Uh, key pop-up dismiss delay so you can change the delay, either default or no delay. Long press delay, how long do you have to press? Long press the key for it to register as a long press. You could lower that if you wanted to not have to press it as long. Uh, key press uh, vibration duration, key press sound volume, and show the app icon in your uh, app drawer. So if you don't want it to show up, you can remove it from there. And so that is basically it. Uh, and again, just to show you how uh, it works, you'll see the floating word as I'm uh, swiping, there's like a floating word that kind of shows you where you're going, where it's going to go. See, so show is right there above my finger. Me. And it changes as as you're moving, continually moving your finger, and it's re uh, figuring out what it is you're trying to say. It changes to that word as soon as you see the word that is what you're trying to say you can stop and it'll be on that word. So that's kind of cool. And if you double press the space bar, you get a period in there. Now because my text is white and my keyboard is black, I'm not sure if you could see that very well. So let me just uh, try that again so you can see how that works. And there you go. So it's a good keyboard. Uh, you know, it's new, just came out. Uh, I've been using it uh, all day and trying to compare it to Swift Key and uh, uh, Swipe. Seems to be pretty much just as good. A little bit different, um, but just as good. Of course, you do have the mic option, so if you hit that, then you use uh, uh, Google Voice Input, which is why it uh, registered as that. So, anyway, that is the, uh, the Google Keyboard. Oh, that was the keyboard by Google. And since Android is a Google product, everybody should get it. You should try it out. Um, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to switch over from Swift Key, which I use on my phone, or from Swipe, which I use on my tablet, over to the, uh, the Google keyboard permanently. Um, but it's a small download, and I'm testing it out right now, seeing if I like it better. It seems to work really well, though. I mean, they are Google, and that's the thing. They're really, they're really good. You know, the people behind it uh, are going to just keep improving it. So definitely worth a download. If you like this review, please click the like button. If uh, you know anyone with an Android phone, share it with them, because this keyboard is free for all, so there's no reason not to have it. And uh, you can do that on Google+, Facebook, Twitter email, whatever. And uh, that's about it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be uh, keep up with new reviews. Um, uh, find out about some really cool new Android apps to make your phone even better. good way to do it is to subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.